Hello and welcome. Today I wanted to do a quick look slash review of something not Star Wars related, which I realize is a little bit odd for my channel, but these were so cool that I had to make an exception and uh, give you guys a look at them. Now there is a little bit of tie-in. In past I have talked about challenge coins on this channel. Uh, we use them a lot in the 501st Legion. They get used in a lot of military organizations and groups as well. But uh, these aren't exactly challenge coins, but they're pretty dang similar. What I have here in front of me are the Metallic Legends coin series from Sandy Peterson. Now, Sandy Peterson is a name you might recognize. He's sort of the creative force behind Call of Cthulhu, which is a role-playing game based on Cthulhu that's been going on for a long, long time. More recently, Sandy Peterson came out with a game called uh, Cthulhu Wars, which is a Cthulhu-based apocalyptic game. Uh, board game with pieces that are just huge. Uh, I've got a whole cabinet full of all things Cthulhu Wars. It takes up basically like an entire armoire to store to store the thing. But uh, these coins are artwork that he did or artwork that his team designed that's based on the artwork from the Cthulhu Wars game. That's based on the characters from the Cthulhu mythos as seen in the Call of Cthulhu role playing game. So if it sounds complicated, it is a little bit. Uh, too long didn't read version cool coins with Cthulhu monsters on them. So let me talk a little bit about these coins and show them off a little bit to you. Um, these coins had four different metallic finishes, mostly three different metallic finishes. I'm going to put this black one aside for a second. The three main finishes were gold, and we can see gold here with the Cthulhu coin, the Azathoth coin, and the Haster coin. So gold coins here. Oh, one more, sorry. The, uh, the Chochos, I forget what the heck they call this thing, Ubu Santa or something like that. Anyhow, it's, uh, it's got a weird Cthulhu name. Uh, the Chocho coin is also gold. Okay, we had sort of a copper tone, which is the Shubnagroth coin, the Yig coin, and the Tsotsuga coin. So we got a copper copper tone on those. And we have a silver tone for Narlahotep, Yog sothoth and Ithaca. Uh, this one was sort of an after, or a uh, coin that they did as an afterthought. This is a cultist coin, and it's got a solid black, uh, sort of an enamel. Uh, I guess, I don't think this is plating. It feels kind of like anonized, maybe, but... Uh, I would guess that it's an enamel, I would guess that it would chip, but it's a solid black with a cultist on them. So four different finishes. Uh, the designs on these coins are really neat. If you're used to challenge coins, one of the more prestigious sorts of things that you can do with a challenge coin is do a 3D sculpt on one of the cover or one of the color or the, uh, the sides. So with this one, they've done a 3D sculpt on both sides. And on one side, we've got a 3D sculpt of the mythos creature by itself. On the other side, We've got the words Metallic Legends, Sandy Mythos, or Sandy Peterson's Cthulhu Mythos, the name of the character on the bottom, the date uh, in Roman numerals for, 20, or for 2019, and the sigil that they worked up for each group. So let me give you a close-up of a couple of them here. I'll do one of each color. So we'll do Nyarlahotep, Cthulhu, Let's do Yig, my wife likes that one a lot, and the Cultist. And I'll just show you the face and the obverse on it. Now, it's hard to see the sculpt on that cultist one uh, because it's so dark, but it is a very similar sculpt. Now, I said that they were 3D on both sides, and when we looked at the obverse, it might not be very clear what the 3D is, but the sigil in the middle comes out in a sort of a rounded, beveled 3D, which is actually kind of cool. Now, these things are solid metal, and they're pretty weighty. Even for challenge coins, these are of a much larger size. Uh, each one came with... 
a little carrier pouch, which is just a cheapo generic pouch. I didn't really think that those were of value enough to show in the video. And a neat little uh, challenge coin holder with different angles that we can put it at. It's just two little pieces of acrylic that clip together. All right, so very neat set. Um, I'm actually very happy with these. This was a Kickstarter. I don't know if Sandy Peterson is going to be offering these on the website. I would, I would be surprised if he didn't. In past, when they have done Kickstarters, he's then moved them onto the Peterson Games website so that you could buy the Cthulhu Wars sets, anything that wasn't listed as an exclusive. So I would highly suspect that these things are going to find their way in the not-too-distant future onto the Peterson Games website. So if you're looking for them, you can find them there. Uh, they're a little bit expensive for coins. These things range um, about, I think they're about 10 bucks, 10 bucks a pop, somewhere in that neighborhood, which is on the high end for coins. But for what you get and for the artistry behind them and the sort of the striking look that these things have, it's kind of a neat set. And uh, I'm a big Cthulhu nerd, so for me it was worth it. So again, a bit of a divergence from uh, the topics that I usually deal with on my channel, but I thought I'd show these to you guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, join me back for more, and I'll see you next time.